In this video, we'll create our first dashboard. We'll do this in two parts. In the first part, we'll create a place where we can design a dashboard. And in the second part, I'll show you how to do it. Let's create a new WinForms project. Click File and select New Project. In the New Project dialog, select the DevExpress Template Gallery item and click OK. In the invoked DevExpress Template Gallery, select Ribbon-Based Application and click Create Project. This creates a form with the default ribbon page. Remove this page and rename the form to Dashboard Designer. Now open the toolbox and drop the Dashboard Designer control onto the design surface. Dock it in the parent container and click Update Ribbon. This adds new ribbon pages containing commands that allow you to design a dashboard from scratch. And finally, let's run the project. You can choose one of the predefined skins for your designer application. To create a dashboard, you need to acquire data that should be analyzed. Click the New button, and in the Invoked Data Source Wizard, select Database and click Next. On the next page, select the Microsoft SQL Server Data Provider and choose the required database. Click Next and run the Query Builder. This dialog allows you to select data from the connected database using drag and drop operations. Drop the orders table onto the surface and select All Columns. You can preview underlying data by clicking the Preview Results button. This table displays detailed data for all orders. Close this dialog and click OK. The automatically generated query will be displayed in the data source wizard. Finally, click Finish to create a data source. The data source structure will be displayed in the data source browser. Now we can visualize this data. First, add the Pi dashboard item to the dashboard. Drop the Sales field to the Value section and Customer Segment to Arguments. To rename the dashboard item, right-click the dashboard item, select Edit Names, and specify the required name in the Invoked dialog. Let's add the Chart dashboard item. Drop the Sales field to Values and Order Date to Arguments. Set the Group Interval of Order Date to Quarter. Then, drop Order Date to the Series section. To change the type of chart series, click the button next to the sales measure and select Line. Go to the Common Options tab and enable point markers. Finally, specify the name of the chart. Note that you can use any data bound dashboard item as a filter for the entire dashboard. Select Pi, go to the Data tab, and click the Multiple Master Filter button. You can now filter the chart on the right by clicking the required pie segment. Let's add another chart to the dashboard. Drop the product base margin field to values. Change its summary type to average. Then change its format type to percent. And set its name as margin. Drop the product category to arguments and specify the dashboard item's name. To disable filtering of this chart by master filter items, go to data and enable ignore master filters. Next, add the grid dashboard item and product name and sales to columns. Enable the Top In feature for the Product Name column and rename the grid. The grid will display top 10 products. The grid also allows you to highlight its values according to the specified conditions. Right-click the Sales column, select Add Format Rule, Gradient Ranges, and choose the required gradient. Click OK. 
sales values will be colored depending on their values. The DevExpress dashboard also allows you to add filters to the dashboard, create a group, move the pie to this group, and change the label type for pie segments. Then rename this group to filters. Add the list box to the dashboard and move it to the group. Next, bind the list box to the product subcategory field and change its type to radio. Note that when you select different categories, the list box filters the pie only. To filter the entire dashboard, select the group, go to the data tab, and click the master filter button. Finally, add the range filter and move it at the bottom. Drop the sales field to values and change the series type to area. Then, drop the order date field to argument and change its summary type to month year. You can now filter the dashboard by the selected date interval. Now you can save your dashboard to the XML file. I'll name it sales-dashboard.xml and save it to my desktop. The dashboard XML definition includes dashboard items, a data source, data binding, and layout settings. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Thank <laughs> you.